Stories about the past bring out a sense of identification and empathy from us in the present. That's a very important aspect of changing people's values, particularly towards people that they don't know. My name is John, John Yang and uh, Yang Zirong is my Chinese name. In the last 10 years, I've been working on these history projects, the core of which has to deal with the history of the Chinese in Australia since 1840. One of the main issues of those is really the interest in history of violence and history of benevolence. And I think they do go hand in hand. There's always been books written about the history of the Chinese in Australia since 1840. However, there's never been a visual history. Collaboration informs John's practice in a number of different ways. Obviously there is the studio which has three or so painting assistants as well as administrative support. He has really sought to professionalise art practice within Australia. We actually work in a team to research on this almost for two years and we found like about 103 narratives that are absolutely fantastic to tell. But the interesting thing about this is that the narratives are broken narratives. They're not necessarily complete narratives. And so we can actually give us room to reimagine. And it's also things that are actually done from a distance in time as well, because we, we started in 1840 and we, the project ends in um, 1966, which is the end of the White Australia policy. The key work is the Lemming Flat Riots. It's the largest civil riot in Australia, believe it or not, from about 1860 to 1861. About uh, 2,000 Chinese miners in Yang were chased out of their area where they were mining in their fields. So they actually marched away from the mines towards a place where they heard somebody was giving shelter to them. And it was a person called James Roberts and he had this large piece of land where he housed them for several months and fed them for several months. This particular riot was not as violent as it could have been, primarily because somebody actually intervened. My hope is not necessarily that people get a very succinct historical objective narrative about all these events. I hope that the audience come away with it, this, this sense that it is possible to reimagine a sense of benevolence when we approach the other, rather than a sense of defense or a defense of shutting people out, uh, is to accept them. So I think that is the most important thing for me.